On this week's How Tuesday, we're going to teach you how to apply the two-frame cheat to your HVX200, 200A, or HPX170. What you're going to need is your camera, an SD card, a USB cord, an SD card reader, or a digital camera that you can connect to your computer. The first step is to take the SD card and enter it into your Panasonic HVX200 slot. Now on the camera, go to the main menu and scroll down to Card Functions. Select Scene File, scroll over, and click on Yes. After you click on Yes, scroll down to Write, then click on Yes again. What this is going to do is it's going to save your scene files onto the SD card, which will allow you to edit them on your computer. If everything worked out right, your screen should say File 1, Title 1, Write OK. The next step is to remove the SD card from your camera and put it back into your digital camera. Then connect your digital camera to your computer. Mine works through USB. Double click on the no name hard drive and you'll see three things will pop up. What we want to work with today is private. So you're going to open up private. Keep opening up all the folders until you get to scene one text. Double click and open that up and what that will now show us is every one of your scene file settings. Scroll down until you see frame rate default. So now what you're going to want to do is change that 0 to a 1. And then go ahead and save the text file. Eject your camera from your computer. And then again remove the SD card. And put it back into your camera. This time, instead of selecting write, we're going to choose read and click yes. If everything turned out alright, the screen will say read OK. You then need to turn the dial on the back of your camera to scene file 1 since that is where we put the two frame cheat in this tutorial. Get out of the card functions menu and go to record and setup. You're now going to want to change the camera to 720 30pn or 24pn. Go back to the main menu, click on scene file, change operation type to film cam, frame rate you want to change to two frames a second, and if you want that ghosted look, you want to change your Secro scan to 180D. It's pretty easy. Now you're set up and ready to go film. Just to double check, make sure that your screen settings look just like this one. 2 over 30p, 180D, with no audio. If there's audio, then something wasn't set up right and you need to go back and follow the steps.